Hey guys, today is on jumping to conclusions. Schizophrenia and jumping to conclusions, but before we jump, please allow my brief prelude. As you know, I've conveniently recorded it for our mutual comfort, our mutual convenience, and our mutual luxury. And hey, listen, I'm no spring chicken, and I've been around a few preludes in my ears. I'm telling you, this kid, this prelude has got something that's particularly luxurious, kind of like a... Uh, I got nothing today under the sun, luxurious. You got something? Can you help me? Throw me a line? A bike? Yes. Hello there. My name is Robert Francis. You've stumbled on my Unconquering Schizophrenia YouTube channel. You ever luxurious? Where me and the bird. That's right. That's right. We talk schizophrenia. Bike. This is the cut of my jib right here for reasons of my medical confidentiality. Kids love I'm a licensed clinical bikes. social worker times 15 years. What's the deal with that? That's a lot of gamut chat. to play with bikes. I've been diagnosed with schizophrenia for a score five and one. And that puts a little gray fleck in Quite my beard. remarkable. Thank you for joining me on my channel. Kids take now the to bikes topic, like ducks to, to topic, water. To topic. Jumping to conclusions is never good, and specifically with uh, schizophrenia, let me preface by saying we often jump to conclusions regarding thinking other people know that we're going through a difficult time or going through an episode of psychosis or that we're going through paranoia or that we're going through anxiety. We always jump to the conclusion, not always, but most of the time we jump to the conclusion that other people know what we're going through. So please be aware of that and don't jump to conclusions. It's a cognitive error. I'm going to give you an example. One day uh, I was out for a jog and there was an individual and uh, uh, he was standing by the side of the road and I, I walked by or jogged by and I gave him a hearty uh, wave uh, and it appeared he just looked at me and said and did nothing and I was continuing down the road I was like, wow, that was kind of unusual, kind of a little uh, rude a little bit. Why, you know. And then I kept jogging, and then I remembered this individual. I've seen this individual several times in the community walking with a uh, walking stick for blindness. So he didn't wave because he did, he didn't see me. I was like, wow, that's a perfect example of jumping to a conclusion. So in schizophrenia, remember... Nobody knows your psychology unless you tell them. So uh, that's a major jumping to conclusion with schizophrenia is we, we attribute meaning that other people know what we're going through and that uh, reinforces our psychosis and paranoia. So don't jump. Don't jump. Don't jump to conclusions. I conclude that kids like bikes. They really do. They really do. They love bikes, brand new bikes, compare bikes. What do you do? You ride around on the bike and <laughs> I guess that's it, right? I'm going to take the path. You take the path, you go to the park. It's your wheels. Very luxurious, especially in childhood. Maybe you'll like bikes as an adult. Not so much for me, but uh, as a kid, of course, of course. All right, guys, if you have a bike, go for a ride and we'll see you next time. Thanks.